The race for Utah's next governor is unfolding amidst the coronavirus outbreak. ABC4's chief political correspondent Glenn Mills is interviewing the candidates and he joins us now in the studio. Glenn? Rick, these are stressful and uncertain times we are facing, so we are checking in with candidates for governor to get their thoughts on the COVID-19 pandemic and moving forward. Today, we have Jan Garbett with us. She joins us live just outside of the studio. Jan, great to be with, uh, great to be with you. Thanks for being here. Let's get right to it. These are really stressful times. We're all on nerve. As a candidate for governor, what is your message to the people of Utah? Utah, I'm sorry. Your government has failed you. You could be tested right now. We have a company in Utah that could do 50,000 tests per day. They cost less than $10 each and they could be done in 90 minutes. You and your loved ones could know if you have COVID-19. We've seen a couple of different uh, directions as far as the way government has moved forward. We've seen stay at home directives where people are implored to do the right, you know, to stay home and to stay safe, or we've seen orders put in place as governor if you were elected, which one do you think is the right way to go? Well, if I were governor, I would do a little bit more than Spencer Cox right now, whose plan is to not get sick. I think we need leadership, and I, need, I think we need the expertise surrounding that leadership to implement the best practices that we, are know, that we know are happening right now around the world to keep people safe. So what, isn't, so what yeah, isn't being done right now that you think needs to be done? Well, I think that right now we've got to eventually, we've got to get those tests in place. We are not going to know when to come out of quarantine unless we have sufficient testing, unless we have sufficient case management to let us know that it's safe to go back to school. So it's even safe with to the, go back to work. Even with the increase in testing we've seen to this date, you still think it's not enough? Correct. Okay, uh, let's move on to the economy. People are losing their jobs, lining up for unemployment benefits. How do we move forward economically after this? Right now, my Lieutenant Governor, Dr. Joe Jarvis, is, who is a public health expert, and I are preparing a path forward out of this economic disaster that we're all in. And I hope that you'll stay tuned to Jan and Joe as we present this plan well, in give the us next some, day or two. Give us some specific ideas on how you would move forward if you were leading the state. Well. One thing that I would do as part of the state government is I would do bonds. Um, we need to do something really aggressive and get people back to work and allow them to do some road projects or some building projects that we know we need. And we need to borrow that money ahead of time and get people to work immediately. Another thing that, um, you know, that I know we could do, um, we could invite the outdoor industry back to Utah. The service industries are suffering and the millions of dollars that they could infuse into this state would be phenomenal, would be so helpful. This is having a far reaching impact on many aspects of our life. The election and campaign being one of those as well. The governor has made an exception for digital signatures for you and other candidates to try to get on the ballot. Is that going far enough? And if not, what else do you think needs to be done? The governor has not done enough. Spencer Cox leading this state is showing what kind of leader he is. He's a leader that's more concerned about this pandemic, using that for his political gain, rather than allowing his opponents on the ballot. So what do, when, you, think, when, what do you think the governor should do then for you and I other think candidates? The governor, I think the governor should, be, should do what's been done in other states. Um, people that have filed an intent to gather signatures have been allowed to be on the ballot and in other states they have lowered the threshold. Our, th our amount of signatures is ridiculously high. My campaign is on target. I had more signatures than John Huntsman, but this pandemic has shut those doors. Okay, we're going to have to... And now the governor's telling me I can use a fax machine. He might as well tell me to use the telegraph. We are going to have to end it on that note. I'm sorry we've run out of time, but thank you so much for being here, and we will see how this all plays out. Thank you.